My name is Kolek Jasna Binti Muhammad Batia and I am going to be speaking to you today about the importance of sleep. And before I start my speech, let me show you a short video about the importance of sleep. Are you getting enough sleep? A third of American adults are not. Adults need between 7 and 9 hours a night. But between work and family, that can be a tall order. But getting enough sleep is crucial to your health and well-being. Sleep helps you focus, boosts your memory, and gives you energy to get through the day. More rest for your brain means higher productivity. It can also help balance your moods and help you deal with stress. The busier you are, the more important sleep becomes. Getting the right amount of sleep can also help with weight gain and avoiding sickness. Your body needs energy, and if it doesn't get it from sleep, you may end up eating more. Sleep can also help ward off chronic illnesses like heart disease and diabetes. Want to stay healthy? Start by making a good night's sleep a priority. To begin, sleep is important because it is an, an essential part of our lives. Your future depends on your dreams, so go to sleep by Mezeb Berzini. Do you even know that sleep is the best meditation? Mm. In our healthy life nowadays, we rarely get enough hours of rest, not to mention its quality. And we may not even realize the consequences. And it's time to take better care of yourself. As normal human beings, we need enough sleep every night, which is between 7 to 9 hours. And studies show that people who sleep less than 6 or 7 hours a night are at risk for many illnesses. In today's sophisticated life coupled with the stress and lifestyle of today, it is quite difficult for us to get enough and quality sleep. Maybe this is one of the reasons many people are sick now. Hmm, constantly tired, grape faces with red, puffy eyes, hands holding cups loaded with caffeine. Hmm. Imagine lack of sleep and so on seems to have become an epidemic among modern youth. Did you know that now that we live in a hurry, our schedule is filled with various tasks and responsibilities that make adequate rest no longer priority in our daily lives. Many people underestimate this and do not care about the consequences. Moreover, many of us do not know what quality sleep means how long we should sleep how to make sure we really get enough to rest and how to maintain proper sleep hygiene my speech this time is to tell you about the importance of sleep that can also take care of our health first thing first do you know why sleep is important this is because sleeping for at least eight hours can improve our immune function and help fight the flu Mm, sleep is an important period of relaxation and studies show that sleep plays an important role in strengthening our immune system. In fact, sleep contributes to innate immunity and adaptation. The studies found that during our sleep at night, certain components of the immune system increase. For example, there is an increase in cytokine production associated with uh, inflammation. This activity seems to be driven by sleep and circadian rhythm, which are the 24-hour internal clock of the body. When a person is sick or injured, this inflammatory response can aid recovery, strengthen natural and adaptive uh, immunity as the body works to repair wounds or uh, fight infections. And we all know that sleep is a time when our, body, uh, our bodies and brains grow back. I quote a little uh, from science, bedtime is the time for the heart and blood vessels to heal and improve. Uh, and also protect us from heart and kidney disease, stroke, and low, uh, low blood pressure. Sleep also an important factor in lowering the risk of diabetes as it affects how your body responds to insulin. Second, 
Basically, dreams during sleep can strengthen memory because while the body rests at bedtime, the brain is busy processing all the experiences and events that are past and associating them with a person's feeling and memories. Therefore, getting quality sleep will produce better memory. Enough sleep also can help the brain consolidate our learning and memory. Research suggests that sleep strengthens immune memory. And also, the interaction of immune system components during sleep reinforces the immune system's ability to remember how to recognize and react to dangerous antigens. Studies show that when we sleep, the memory and skills learned are strengthened and improved by moving to more efficient and permanent brain areas. It is a process known as memory unification and sleep also helps improve problem solving skills, concentration and productivity. Last but not least, sleep is necessary for our controlling um for controlling our emotion and sleep and emotion are closely related. If we have lack of sleep, it can cause disturbed emotion and stress while maintaining a healthy sleep pattern can help improve emotional well-being. When you are tired and sleepy, you will be more irritable, impatient, lose focus and more emotional. This condition will affect the quality of your day as a whole. As a result, not all work can be done efficiently. In fact, depression is also associated with sleep deprivation. Chronic insomnia, insomnia can increase the risk of emotional disorders such as anxiety and depression. So, get enough sleep and stay happy. Okay? I think that's all from me. I hope you enjoy my speeches now. And go get enough rest and sleep also. Okay, thank you for uh, uh, watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and, com and comment. Bye! Thank you! <laughs> I was hanging with you and then I realized I didn't think it was true. I was surprised when I found out I'd fallen for you.